Well, 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 once again, I leave for a trip in seven days and I am completely unprepared. So Cal and I are going to Hong Kong and Taiwan in seven days, literally this time next week. We will be up in the air, pending I, you know, get this whole situation sorted. But this has become a serious toxic trait of mine where I'm like, that's it, I'm going on a trip, I book the flight, I get all excited, and then I do literally nothing, literally nothing until it's one week until I need to go, and I'm like, holy sh**. I need to get it all sorted. We're about to go on this trip. But you know what? We've done this before. We've done this before. We have seven days, one whole week. That's 52 weeks in the year. We can take one of these to get prepared for this trip, but we need to start right now. Okay, so first step in this prep and pack with me is to fix these nails. Guys, I got French chrome tip, which I didn't even know was a thing. I literally had never heard of it, but I got it last time. My friend Harriet got it. I think she got the inspo off Pinterest, but she got it. I saw it and I I was like, oh my God. Once again, I have been influenced by you. So I tried it out last month. I think this is going to be my new go-to. It's so cute. You guys know I always go to a French tip because French tip just goes with everything. One time I tried to get pink, hated it after a week. I know myself, I am a French tip girly, but I feel like the chrome gives a little spice, elevates it a little bit. I don't know, maybe it's all in my head, but I'm definitely just going to get this again. The only reason I'm getting them redone is because they have grown out. I think it's been about four weeks since I've got them done so that is what we're doing today so this is my official before I'm also getting a pedicure as well because my toes right now they are not cute they are clothes toe shoes only prepared right now like I could not rock a sandal and I'm gonna be rocking sandals the whole trip so there's just absolutely no way we can take these overseas sorry the dogs cannot be let out in these conditions they need a big group so let's go and get these nails and toes done slept through my alarm completely slept through my alarm now it is 8 37 a.m i have a lash appointment at 9 30 thank god i finally woke up i don't know what happened i was just laying there half awake half asleep being like hmm i wonder if i should get up soon i wonder what the time is and then my brain was like bitch you need to be somewhere <laughs> at 9 30 like you need to leave your apartment at 9 i get out of bed it's 8 20 which i mean still gives me 40 minutes to get myself together. But I don't know what you guys are like. I like to have my time in the morning before I go somewhere. I don't like to just jump out of bed and then like jump out of my apartment. So that's where we're at today, but I am going to get my lashes done. I actually don't have any lashes on at the moment. I also look like a 12 year old boy. This is not my best look. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. This is why we're prepping and packing so that I don't rock up in Hong Kong looking like this. <laughs> I look so tired. But I actually have no lashes on at the moment. I did have a full set a full single set but they all came out so this is where i'm at and yes i'm getting a completely new set today which is actually really exciting and you guys know unless you're new here that i always go to lash house in melbourne they are the best lash salon ever i swear by them i will never go anywhere else they're so nice and they do such a good job so that is the plan for this morning it is wednesday 24th so we fly out in two days and so far we have only gotten the nails done but that's okay we have time i'm gonna I'm gonna go pull myself together, get dressed, and then let's go get these lashes done. Okay guys, I am back from my appointment. The lashes are done. They look so good. I stand by lash extensions. I feel like people are divided. They either love them or hate them. I love them because I can just wake up. I don't need to put makeup on. And I'm hoping that a lot of the time on the trip, I can just have lash extensions and not have to do my makeup, but feel a little bit put together. You know what I mean? I just get a single set. So basically there's just one lash put on each of my lashes. I used to get a double set where there's like two lashes that go on each lash. And I feel like that's a little bit, a little bit more 
more extreme, but I'm so glad that these are done. But now I need to do some trip planning because we go to Hong Kong in two days and we have not finished our itinerary, have not booked our seats on the flight, which I have to do because I have flight anxiety. And I also don't even know exactly what time our flight leaves. So we need to do all of that. So I've gone ahead, made myself a marcher. I'm hoping I can just log on, bang out all this admin. Oh, we haven't even booked our travel insurance. We literally leave in two days, haven't booked our travel insurance. The thing is, we're going to Hong Kong and Taiwan. And my friend Coco lives in Taiwan. It's one of the reasons we're going. And we planned this massive itinerary with her. Well, to be fair, she did most of the itinerary. She deserves all of the credit. But we have this massive itinerary in Taiwan. Every single day, all of our transportation, our hotels, every activity, even where we're going to have lunch and dinner some days, that is all planned out and the whole time we were planning that we were like oh yeah we need to do Hong Kong and we just kind of I don't want to say forgot about it because we knew we had to do it but we just kept pushing it aside and in the back of our minds we were like if we get to the city as long as we have a hotel we'll figure it out you know what I mean it's a city like we've got this anyway let's smash this out I know I'm going to feel so much better when all of this is done <music> It is Thursday morning, which means this time tomorrow, actually no, not this time tomorrow, but it means tomorrow we are flying to Hong Kong, which is absolutely crazy. But this morning I have a hair appointment. I'm kind of nervous. Also, I'm just filling up my drink bottle because I cannot go anywhere without my emotional support drink bottle. But I'm kind of nervous because I'm going to cut my hair and I don't just mean a little snip snip dead ends. I want to cut, I mean, it's not really that dramatic. My hair is not super long, but I want to cut a few centimeters inches. I want to cut like this much off. Basically, this is my inspo pick. This is a pick of me from 2021, I think. But I loved this length so much. I really did not appreciate it when I had it. But when my hair is this length, I can style it short. When it grows past that, only these bottom bits grow. Like these front bits always just kind of stop here. It never gets to the same length and I really struggle to style it, which means I always gravitate to putting my extensions in. And while I love having long hair you guys know that I want to be able to wear it long and wear it short so I think the best option is to just cut these bits off and get it back to this length so that's what I'm gonna do I am really nervous because as you can tell a lot of the top of my hair is dark and we're not putting any color in it today we're just doing a toner so I'm worried that we're going to chop off a lot of the blonde but at the same time this color at the top is my natural hair so realistically this is the color that suits me best anyway I don't know I feel so ready like I've wanted to cut my hair for a while now but at the same time I'm still nervous I'm sure you guys can understand also I scrubbed off my tan last night or at least I thought I did I feel like my top half is back to my natural skin color but my legs are still kind of orange so I need to scrub off my tan tonight and then tonight I also want to do my Sunday reset even though it's a Thursday because I really want to come back to a nice clean apartment so that is our prep and pack to-do list today I still also have work I need to get done so I'm kind of a little bit stressed but let's go get this hair done it's gonna be good it's gonna be great and I'm not gonna chicken out I'm not gonna do that Hello. you're so cute to you live with this horrible angle because I don't want to show you there until I get home but I just ran for the tram and missed it because I started running and then there was a fence in the way and then I tried to like run around it and then I tripped it was really embarrassing and there was two girls watching and now I'm sitting at the tram stop and it just started pouring rain absolutely pouring anyway that's my update I'll show you the hair at home okay guys I am back home this is the hair dude I am 
obsessed with this. This is exactly what I wanted. This length is everything. I feel like it suits my personality more. It's cool, but I also could put in my extensions if I want to. But I'm gonna try really hard not to because I'm vibing with this so much. I do wish these front bits were a little bit longer, but they were already this short. I'm just really bad at taking care of them, but she absolutely killed this. She also put in a couple of foils at the front here and at the back as well, just to kind of help freshen it up. We didn't do anything too drastic. We mainly just focused on the cut and the tone, but I'm so glad that I did this and I'm so glad that I did it before our trip because I feel like this hair is going to be so are much easier to style overseas. And to be honest, I just really like it. Comment below if you like it, but also if you don't like it, don't comment that you don't like it because I don't think I can handle the hate. I'm sorry, I'm not that strong. But it is now 20 past four. 420. I have no idea why I just said it like that. But what I'm going to do now is finish off some work for the day and then I really need to deep clean this apartment. I love coming home to a clean place. When I was growing up and my mom said, we have to clean this whole house before we go, I would always be like, shut the f up why who cares we'll just deal with it later but now i completely understand because when i go away i want my house to be fresh to be clean so when i come back it's just nice and welcoming you know what i mean so that is my plan for the night but it is already 20 past four so i really need to get a move on good morning guys it is officially the day that we fly to hong hong also can we please take a second to appreciate the fact that this is my hair after waking up like i literally haven't even brushed it yet I'm so glad that I cut it because normally when I wake up, I mean you've seen the vlogs if you're not new here My hair usually looks pretty tragic. Also, I have my airpods in but I promise nothing is playing It's actually one of my pet peeves when I go somewhere and I'm talking to someone and they have their airpods in But I have them in because I'm just about to go down the street and try and find a clear bag to put my Toiletries and like carry on liquids in I have not traveled overseas in so long that I forgot that when it comes to liquids in your carry-on first They have to be under hundred mil. That's fine But they also all have to fit in a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter clear bag and I don't have any of those I assume the ones that I had from when I came back from Canada would have ripped and been broken because that is the story of my life when traveling so I'm just gonna duck down the street now and try and find those I also need to get a couple more pairs of underwear so fun and I also want to grab two more white crop tops just because I don't want to be doing laundry too much while we're gone I don't think we're really gonna have the opportunity to do it and purchasing white tops is fine for me because I'm just going to keep with them it doesn't feel like a bad impulse purchase if that makes sense because I'm trying to be better at making sure I only invest in pieces that I'm actually going to wear. So that is my plan. It is currently 5 past 11. We have to leave here at 5 p.m. Have we started packing? No, but it's fine. It's gonna be fine, right? I'm kind of scared. It's okay. I'm gonna run down the street now. This will take less than an hour. Then we're gonna come back and pack our bag. We got this. I believe in us. Let's go. Time for a little shopping haul. This is the most random collection of <laughs> ever. And also, Cal is home and he hasn't seen what I got because I just walked in Hello. the door. So I'll be giving the haul to you, but also to Cal as well. Okay, first up, we have clear Ziploc or like snap lock bags. These ones are 20 centimeters by 19 centimeters. I need a 20 by 20. So this is perfect. I looked at every single brand trying to find the one that was closest to 20 by 20 because I'm going to have a lot of stuff. I need all the room I can get. So I got these, some protein bars for the plane. A compact hairbrush because every time I pack my hairbrush, I'm like, why does this take up such an annoying amount of space? But when I fold this, look at that, it's so small. And then it opens up, you can do a little lip gloss situation in the mirror. Oh, it's got a little mirror too. Fancy! So convenient. Some underwear, some eye patches, because I always see the TikTok girlies doing these under eye patches on the plane, having a little self care moment. So I figured we could do that together, Cal. Came with three pairs, have no idea whether this brand is good or bad or if this is gonna f my skin up. But a little collagen moment on the plane. Sounds good, I don't know. Some little hair ties. Annoyingly, they only had a pack of black and clear, and I normally just use the clear ones, but I didn't have any of these left, and I wanna do some cute little hairstyles in Hong Kong, so I got these. And then lastly, oh, no, not lastly. Oh my God, everything's falling everywhere. A little sanitizer, because obviously. And then at Glassons, I got, is this a tank top? A singlet tank top situation? A white pleaser? 
white blazer. I got one of these. And then I just got two of these plain, tight-fitted white t-shirts. Glassons have the best basics, I swear. And that is my haul. It is now 10 past 12. So we need to start packing. I'm gonna bring up my list and we're gonna get through this. Okay guys, it is time to pack. I don't know about you, but packing actually gives me the worst anxiety. I don't know if it's because I want everything to be organized, but then I'm also worried that I'm going to forget something. So I'm trying to overpack, but then I want to underpack. So then I'm packing stuff and I'm taking it out and I'm like, should I put it here? Should I put it there? Have I packed enough? Have I not packed everything that I need? I'm sure if you're an overthinker, you will be able to relate. But my plan is I'm taking this suitcase and then this backpack for my carry-on. This one opens at the back and goes flat. So it's perfect for packing. It also has a laptop pouch. It has so many pouches. It is so helpful. So these are my two bags. And then I also got some packing cubes off Amazon. I've never used packing cubes before. I'm hoping these change my life, but I think what I'm going to do, the little system I've created in my head is I'm going to bring up my packing list, which I made on Notion. I'll pop it up here so you guys can see. And I'm going to get everything that's on the list and put it into piles on the ground. And then I'm gonna figure out which packing cube it should go into. And then I'm gonna put it in my suitcase and all of that kind of stuff. I think that's the best plan right if you have a different plan that you feel like is better that you use please comment it below <laughs> because like I said this is not something that I enjoy doing and I probably should have started a day or two ago but if I started a day or two ago some things are in the wash you need to use things right now we leave in five hours so everything that I need to pack is not in use anyway let's start packing Okay guys, progress has been made. These are all the clothes that I'm taking. I'm so happy because it's not that much. We are gone for three weeks and the weather is going to be super inconsistent while we're there. It ranges from 15 degrees to 26 degrees, thunderstorms and beautiful sunshine. So I think I've done well and I've also laid out my airport outfit for tonight. So now what I'm going to do is try and put these clothes in the packing cubes and then put the packing cubes into my suitcase. We do only have one checked suitcase between us and it's under my name because I always pack the most stuff. So we do need to figure out what clothes of Kel's are going to go in the suitcase. He does have a carry-on suitcase, so he's gonna try and put most of his clothes in there, but maybe his bigger stuff will go in the suitcase and his shoes as well. So that is the plan. It is only 1 p.m., so it took us an hour between us talking as well to get all of our clothes organized, which is good. So let's get this done and then move into the bathroom. All right, time to try and figure out the packing cube. This is so satisfying. Guys, oh my god, I managed to fit everything clothes-wise into these packing cubes. Holy sh**. These are the best things I have ever purchased. I will link them below for you guys. I can't believe I've slept on this for so long. Oh my god, this is so Good! I'm so happy I bought these things. Oh my god, my anxiety is like leaving the chat. Okay guys, we are moving on to packing all of our toiletries. We have so many of these little travel containers that we've accumulated since our last trip because on our last trip we were like, wow, we wish we had more of these. So Kel is currently transferring some of his shampoo and conditioner into the bottles. That's what I need to figure out right now, what I need to put into the little bottles. And then I have all these bags, but I don't know which one is the best one to use, but we'll figure it out.
guys, we have officially finished packing and it is only 20 past three. We still have an hour and 40 minutes until we leave and I'm so happy about that because I really didn't want to be running out the door as soon as we were finished. I have like an hour and 40 minutes to wonder if I've forgotten anything even though I have ticked off everything on my list. But if you guys have watched this far and you haven't subscribed, you should definitely subscribe because we're basically best friends at this point. I'm going to be filming the whole time I'm in Hong Kong, the whole time I'm in Taiwan as well. So you should definitely subscribe. I'm so excited for the vlogs. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!